Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be another box opening for Maximum Crisis. I'm just opening a few of these. Uh, this is the third one that I'm opening for this channel. I might open more depending on what I decide to, uh, to do, but I've definitely got another box that I'm giving away for the people that supported me on Patreon throughout the month of uh, April. And so, I mean, I do, I do those monthly giveaways with Patreon to sort of do a fun little thank you, uh, give back to the people that have supported me. Um, through that, so like it's just, it's a it's a fun little way to just garner a little bit of additional like support, attention, all that sort of stuff, and also give back to people and say thank you in a uh, in an interesting way, in the way that I'm capable of doing. But anyway, we we're gonna open this box. Previous boxes were one box was okay for secrets. The other box was kind of was kind of uh, um, kind of uh, in the essence of in the essence of uh, shit, man. Uh, but so secret seems to be second from bottom. So I'm gonna open those packs last in the stack so i've moved the bottom pack to the top uh and so either i'm gonna get uh like diddled as far as like i'm just gonna reveal the secrets first or we're gonna be good to go uh okay so waterfall of dragon souls i'm not really fanning through the commons that much because i mean you should know what the commons from this set are uh the pull ratios on commons usually don't matter uh but like the commons and rare pull ratios usually don't matter the supers matter to a slightly bigger degree uh, but even still, they're still incredibly, like, easy to get access to as far as uh, the supers. <clears throat> but the rares, uh, the rares are actually uh, a little bit more interesting to come by than the supers, actually, thinking about it. Because there's more rares per set, but you get the same number of supers and rares per pack. Um, so, like, there's more rares overall in the set. And so that means that you have less of a chance to pull a rare compared to a super. But the better cards are supers. So True Draco Heritage. All right, so we got our second copy of that out of these boxes, which is great. Um, that's fantastic. That's 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 the kind of ultras that I want to keep getting. I want to keep getting True Draco ultras. If I get another Zodiac Leica, I'm gonna be a little bit upset. Just because I've already got one, I don't need more than one. Um, especially since like the zoo deck that I would play would be like True Draco Zoo if I decided to play Zoo at uh, Pittsburgh. Uh, so like it would. It would definitely be one of those things where, like, one Leica is all you need, and it's really all you really want to dedicate room for as well. Um, but, uh, was this just, uh, did this, I'm going to have to check the footage. If this flipped upside down um, from me doing that, or if it was like that in the box. Uh, because I might have pulled the pack away and flipped it over, but if it was upside down in the, in the, in the box, then that's interesting. Um, it probably, probably means nothing, uh, but it's still... Uh, another Supreme Gate card. I've definitely got play sets of all those at this point, so uh, we'll be selling. We'll be selling either all of them or access. So um, I might have my uh, my eBay linked in the uh, description. Uh, wait, that was like four from the bottom. Why was that four from the bottom? Normally they're in a very specific place, and I should have seen my second ultra before I saw another secret. Weird. Hmm. All right. This one might be a bit more interesting as far as how these go, um, because in theory, this pack should also be a secret uh, because it's second from the bottom, and second from the bottom is almost always the secret. At least it was the secret in the last two boxes that I just opened. Like second from the bottom was the secret. Um, so okay, I have another Majesty Maiden. I've got a playset of this card that I don't need three of. Rip. Well, guess we're selling. We guess we're selling the extra. Okay. So what is this? Um, because this was the second from the bottom, and this was a secret that was in a very odd place. So is there another secret in this stack? No. It just got moved around. That's weird. That doesn't conform with the last two boxes at all. Uh, because the last two boxes, the secret was second from the bottom. Interesting. Oh well. Well, we got another Supreme King Dragon Zark man. Which is like the worst secret in the set, uh, second only maybe to ultra polymerization. And if Zark is in this, and I see another ultra polymerization, I'm going to actually cry, uh, because so far, these are the exact same ultras that I got in the first box where I got Zark and uh, ultra polymerization. So if they're set like that, I'm going to be absolutely livid, <laughs> because that means that I have been absolutely just cucked, cucked and fucked uh, as far as uh, pulling shitty, shitty secret rares because ultra polymerization, that card's not good. Uh, that card's like, 
not decent considering the fact of, of like what the game's context has uh, currently. Okay, so this is a different ultra. Okay, so there's hope for these uh, for these being randomized. I was having some uh, I was having some uh, some fears that the ultras and secrets are all set for a certain for like certain boxes. Uh, to where like you'll always pull the same ultras, always pull the same secrets. Uh, that was the fear that was slowly creeping up on me uh, as I was doing this. Uh, but so I'm curious as if the secret is going to be on the bottom of this stack or if it's going to be up in the stack a bit, uh, like it was on the stack on the left. Because, like I said, it doesn't that where this secret was was not in uh, was not in line with where it was in the previous two boxes. Or with any box of product that I've opened since Konami has done this whole super in every pack thing. Uh, the shitty Draco. Uh, I'm just going to say that every time I see it. The shitty Draco. Because it is. You have tribute 3 for it and like it doesn't do anything to disrupt your opponent. It's literally just the towers. Uh, Kaijus exist. At least Masterpiece is only a two card investment. Hey, this is high as fuck too. But I've got two Ash Blossoms. So that's pretty legit. That's actually like what I wanted. I definitely wanted a I would like a playset of them, yes. But, I'll take two. I will take two. Because that means I can at least play two. In whatever deck I decide to play in Pittsburgh. Uh, but that was higher in the stack as well. That just doesn't conform with the rest of the box. The The other two boxes that I opened, the secret would have been in this pack. The pack that is on the bottom of the stack because I took one pack from the bottom and moved to the top. So the secrets would be the last thing that got opened. That is so weird. Um... Like, the last two boxes were that way, and now this one is just not. I might be purchasing another box. <laughs> I might be opening that other box and then purchasing another box. <laughs> Let's be completely honest. Um, because these pool ratios are a bit weird. Ew, that's right. Some terrible spiral cards are the ultras. I say terrible, but this thing's like Axe of Despair. Sounds broken, right? Uh, only equipped a super agent. Okay. Starting off strong. It gains a thousand attack. Okay, Axe of Despair. Um, if it destroys a monster, you can banish it and one other card your phone controls. Okay, that's pretty legit. Um, and then when it dies, it can special summon Super Agent from Grave. Okay, that's kind of fair. Still probably not ultra worthy. This would have made a really good common, though. Um, I just think I think that these TCG exclusive archetypes, the spirals and the sub terrors, man, Konami really dropped the ball on how those were made. Um, like, considering, like, the archetypes that we've had, we've had, like, Burning Abyss, we've had Cosmo, we've had Ultra Athletes, which is a little, it's still a little bit better than Spirals and sub -terrors. Like, they, they all are really cohesive as far as archetypes, whereas, uh, whereas Spirals and sub are just not. So, yeah, that was weird. All right. Hmm. Interesting. This is, uh, this was a weird... A weird situation where the secrets moved around on me in the box because, like I said, the first video, uh, the first box I opened, the first two boxes I opened, the secrets were the last, were the second to last pack under each stack. So like there was a pack below them, but then the pack with the secret in it was the was the pack that was one from the bottom. Uh, so that's interesting. The fact that these just moved around, I got kind of excited. I was like, maybe I'm gonna get extra secrets in this box. Turns out that's just not the case. But so I have another copy of Zark. Uh, deck I'm never going to play, but I have a second copy of Ghost Ash, which is great. Um, fantastic. Um, and I could get another Mirror Mune, and then that would be a playset of all the True King cards. Um, I just need diagrams. I'm, I'm probably going to open that other box that I have that I was going to do for the giveaway, and then just purchase another box for the giveaway at a later date. Because um, the giveaway is not happening for another couple of days anyway. Uh, so that might be the thing that happens. So anyway... <laughs> As always, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are on these polls in the comments down below. What do you think of this box, all that sort of nonsense? What do you think about the things I've said? What do you think about these uh, these rarities and all that sort of nonsense? Curious as of your opinions, as always. But other than that, if you want to support me directly and you want to connect with me and chat with me or whatever, then definitely check out the links in the description to my Facebook and my Patreon page. If you want to support the channel directly, then Patreon is the best way to do so. It also gets you access to a monthly raffle giveaway at the end of this month uh, for a box of Maximum Crisis, I think is what I'm going to give away again. Uh, so if you support me during the month of May on Patreon, then you will be entered into a raffle giveaway for a potential box of Maximum Crisis next month. Either that or it'll just be a box's worth of uh, special editions, uh, depending on when those come out. I think those come out first. Uh, don't know. But it will definitely be some significant amount of Maximum Crisis product uh, for you guys to, uh, to oogle over and oddle over. But other than that, check out Second Chance Gaming's website. 
which is also linked in the description if you want to buy or sell cards while indirectly supporting the channel. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel. I'm a big fan of how they do business, what I've dealt with thus far. So definitely check out their site and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But other than that, again, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Uh, let me know if you like opening videos and all this sort of nonsense. I mean, it's definitely something I could probably do more of in the future. Uh, just to be like filler content, but anyway, that's it for this video as I've already said. Let me know what your thoughts are, all that sort of nonsense, and take care guys. I will see you in the next video.